the MyZ's method in this video share is how to make a 5M server in 2024. To start off, go to the 5M.net website, hit create your own server, and then hit host your own server. In here, click the little setup for TXM, hit Windows Server Build Listing, and then hit Latest Recommended. After that, go to wherever you want to make your 5 folder and make a new folder. I'm just going to call this 5M. You can call this whatever you want. You can call it your 5M server. Whatever your name of the server is, you can call this whatever you want. Open this, put TX data into a new folder, and hit enter. Then go back to the folder that you just downloaded. Open this. And then in here, if you don't have a 7-zip or a WinRAR downloaded, you have to download that before you open up this folder. Then after you open open this, hit control alt and control A, and then drag everything into this folder. When everything is done, open up this and then go down to the FX server.exe. Let this load. When that is done, it should open up this little web browser on your web browser, your website. If you're not logging to your cfx.rar, this is where you're going to be able to sign in. Just say continue if you're already signed in. And here, this is where you make the password to your TX admin master account. So this is going to be your account or whatever admin you want to have access to this. Just make whatever password you want. It doesn't have to have like a special character, numbers. It just is between 6 and 24 characters. Hit this little check mark and then hit create master account. Hit next. And then in here, just make a name for your server. You can do that. It doesn't really matter. Hit next. Hit popular right recipe. And then in here, do not use the red M. Use the 5M. These two are frameworks. For now, we're not going to use these. I'll make a video on these later. But for now, we're just going to hit the default up here save and then hit go to recipe deployer in here hit next and then in here click this little key master button and then in the key master it should say sign in because i already signed into it it does not but just click the little sign button and then you'll get showed to here if you're new to this it should say make a new server right here but if you're already done one and you have all three like i have trash one that you're not using or if you don't have three and you just have two click this little new server button right here no matter what and then put a display name for whatever you want put your public ip not your private ip put your public ip go down here hit other slash home hosted and then hit home hosted hit i'm not your robot and then hit generate this key is what controls your fire server to not show this to anybody if they can if they take this 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 server can become theirs and they can lead it to a different server if your server is not online if your server is online then it i don't know what really happens do not show this to anybody or if someone gets this just hit regenerate go to server deployer and then paste this code into here they just copied from the server i mean from that website and then hit run recipe then after that is done this should open this is your resource file and your server.config just close out of that for now and next this is your server.config on here you can change whatever you want on here I don't really, it doesn't really matter what you change for now. If you want to add something later, you have to do ensure the file resource. But for now, just leave it default. If you're not going to do anything special to it, hit save and run. Now, what's going to load now is your yarn. Wait for this to load before you do anything. Do not try to load into the server. Do not try to join the server. Just wait until this is fully downloaded. Because if you try to join the server, it won't show up. It will not be there at all, and you might think, oh, it's broken. No, it's just because this is not downloaded. And do not restart your server before you are done with this. When it says done, wait for the thing that says started chat. That's how you know it's fully done when it says started chat. Chat started. And then what I like to do is restart the server before joining it. I just like restarting it just to make sure everything is perfectly okay. Then open up your 5M applications and here because i have streamer world it does not show my ip but click the connect to lan right here hit okay because if you played on a different server the version of that server might be older or might be newer if you hit okay it just downloads a different version or if you already have the version it takes you to that version of the game this is just versions and all that jazz 
it's nothing really that not really that important you could change the version if you want you could change it back to 2806 you could change it to something else just keep this for now later down the road you can change it if you want to load less stuff you want to have different stuff for now this is just what you keep some resources might ask for a older build or new build just go whichever one you can do okay we have fully loaded into the server if you do hit t to open up your command and then hit slash tx and here is a little menu this shows no clip all these special things you can spawn cars there's a car there look i got a golf cart if you hit tab you go over to your player list if you hit tab again you go over to your web browser thing that's on your web browser if you hit escape it escapes out there and you can do whatever you want. You can no clip, you can punch people, you can run all over people, you could do whatever you want. This is your own server to do whatever you want. If you guys like this video, please subscribe. And if you need any help, go to the Discord server in the link of my description. That would be the best place to reach me. If you need any help that you cannot get a Discord server, maybe inside of a Discord server, just leave a comment. I will try to get back to you. I'm not that good at giving back to people that comment, but I will try. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.